My name is Lisa, and I am a working housewife celebrating my third wedding anniversary with my husband, Carlton. During the day, I work at a company and at home, I switch back to being a housewife. With Carlton's support, I've been able to balance both work and household responsibilities. Carlton and I share a special joy, which is… Ah, uh, I can't wait for our new house to be finished. I hope the kitchen turns out just like you want it, Lisa. I'm looking forward to it. I hope your study turns out great too. I never thought I'd actually own a house. Oh, getting all sentimental all of a sudden? It really does feel like a dream, doesn't it? Carlton and I currently live in a rental apartment, but we are actually in the process of building a single-family home. As the completion nears, we have always been looking forward to moving into our new home. One day, while chatting with a junior colleague who came to visit. Seriously, I'm so jealous you get to live in such a big house. Thanks, but it's not as big as you think, Sidonia. Come on, don't be so modest. It's definitely a large house. Plus, having a wonderful husband who works at a major company is just perfect. Really? I'm kind of embarrassed now. Well, my company is pretty major too, you know? That's true, but both of you working at big companies and having a talented husband makes you unbeatable. Sidonia, a junior colleague from work, occasionally visits us and we also socialize privately. She quickly became friends with not just me but also Carlton thanks to her friendly and cheerful personality. A few weeks later, on a day off, while having tea with Sidonia. Um. I heard from Carlton that you can't have children? What? Infertility? Have you been to a gynecologist yet? Maybe you should consider your age a bit more. That's true. Raising children does require physical strength. Ah, uh, if it were me, I'd get pregnant right away and have a super healthy baby. Sidonia suddenly started talking about babies. I was honestly shocked to learn that Carlton had discussed such a matter with Sidonia. I also felt that Sidonia's demeanor was different than usual. Despite my unease, I soon forgot about it due to the busy period at work. Three months later, on a particular day. Sorry to intrude. Hey Lisa, surprise, I just came over to visit. Teehee. Wow. Sidonia, you startled me. What's up with the sudden visit? You usually set a date before you come over. Did something happen? Well, I mean, there's something I really want to report to you, Lisa. A report? Okay, come on in. Yay. Thanks, I'm coming in. Despite being surprised by Sidonia's sudden visit, I invited her to the living room to hear her announcement. Although we occasionally met on weekends, she had never come over without planning. Um, actually. I'm pregnant. Really? Wow, congratulations. You came all the way here to tell me? Ugh Lisa, you really are naively cheerful, aren't you? Let me be clear, the father of the baby is Carlton. What? Carlton is the father? Are you seriously telling me you didn't notice anything between us? Wow, you're so clueless. It's probably because you're always so buried in your work that this happened. Wait, Sidonia. I can't really grasp what you're saying. So, I'm saying Carlton and I are in a relationship, and I'm pregnant with his child. Is that really true? If it were a lie, you'd know in a second. I get that you don't want to accept it, but this is the reality. So, our friendship until now was… Well, hanging out with you was fun in its own way, but… I had to keep up my friendly, charming act to make a good impression on Carlton, right? What are you talking about? I really did steal your wealthy husband. Carlton said he prefers cute me over a serious workaholic like you. Carlton said that? As if I would say that. It's exactly how a man would see it. Do you still not get it? No. I understand, but it's just hard to believe. Well then, maybe as a defective product, I guess I just don't have any value as a woman. From now on, Carlton and I will live in this house. So, please pack up your things. After saying that, Sidonia left without caring about my stunned reaction. Following this shocking revelation, I decided to consult someone about it. About a month after the incident. Yoo-hoo. Ah. Uh, what do you want? I came to see the poor girl who had her husband snatched away so easily. You seem to be under some misconceptions, so let me clarify. I had actually divorced Carlton before you told me about your pregnancy. Really? Seriously? Yes. 
So, he wasn't stolen from me. Hmm, I see. If you were already divorced, that simplifies things. Then you have no right to stay in this house, so you should leave right now. Unfortunately for you, this house is mine, so I don't need to go anywhere. What? Your house? What do you mean by that? Exactly what I said. Can't you understand? I built this house. Carlton didn't contribute a single yen. Oh? It seems like Carlton hasn't told you anything about the house construction. Carlton wears a luxury brand watch, and he could afford anything he wanted. He was only pretending to be rich using my credit card to impress you. If you can't believe it, shall I show you the credit card statements? No way. You can't be that wealthy. Stop joking around. I work hard at my job, but I also have a side business. A side business? Yes. You know, our company allows side businesses as long as they don't interfere with our main jobs. There's no way a side business can earn enough to buy a house. Here, this is my bank book. Still can't believe it? Hmm. It seems you do have an income, but you're the one who's mistaken. Carlton being an elite employee at a major company doesn't change a thing. Carlton? He's unemployed. What? Did you just say unemployed? Carlton is unemployed? In fact, I had divorced Carlton before Sidonia started visiting our home. Moreover, Carlton is now unemployed. Unaware of this, Sidonia exclaimed. There's no way Carlton is unemployed. It's true. He quit his job a long time ago. Maybe you didn't hear about it because we work at different companies? I haven't heard, but there's no way he would just quit. He really is unemployed. It's convenient to be from different companies, huh? Anyway, it doesn't matter. That can't be true. He said he was busy and that's why we could only meet at night. Oh, that's because he's addicted to gambling and goes to the pachinko parlor every day. What did he say? Something about lining up in the morning whenever a new machine is installed. You're just jealous because Carlton left you for me, aren't you? You're trying to belittle him and get one over on me because you're sore about losing. I told you, I divorced him before you started coming around. The real love of Carlton's life is me. There's no space for you to interfere, so stop making things up and just give up already. I'm just telling the facts, and I'm not jealous at all. You're trying to confuse me with your crappy made-up stories because you're jealous. Look, to put it very clearly, I really hate Carlton now. Oh, and Carlton has other women too, so don't kid yourself thinking you're the only one he loves. What? That's impossible. He's told me many times that he only loves me. I spoke the truth, but Sidonia was unwilling to believe it. Just as I was thinking this could turn into a lengthy discussion. Why don't you ask him directly if those words are truly his? Wow. Hey, let go of me, you jerk. Carlton. Why is Carlton here, and who are you? The other guy, not that lying man, is my friend Noah. Noah is a lawyer, so I've been consulting with him about Carlton and he's been helping me with various things. A lawyer? Wait, a real lawyer? If someone who isn't qualified claimed to be a lawyer, the police would get involved, you know? Sidonia. This guy is a real lawyer. Now that Carlton is here, it's a good chance to ask him how many girlfriends he has. Hey Carlton. This woman says you have other women besides me. Isn't that awful? Other women? What are you talking about? Why would you say such things? What? What kind of reaction is that? After hiring a detective, it turns out you have five other women. Five other women? Maybe now you understand why I divorced him, from what Noah just said. Is this lawyer in on it too? He's your acquaintance, right? What would I gain from lying about such a report? Look, lawyers are extremely busy. We don't have time to come here for a fake discussion. I wouldn't consult a lawyer just to make up lies, either. So, everything you've been saying is true. You're joking, right? Sidonia, still not convinced by just the words from Noah and me. Hey Carlton, tell the truth for once. Is it true you have other women besides me? And five of them. Tell me, Carlton. Damn, you're annoying. Yes, it's true. I have other women besides Sidonia. So what? You're the worst. So, those words about loving me the most in the world were also a lie. Yeah, that was a lie. Sweet talk makes you do whatever I say. It was convenient because you believed everything when I was just a little nice. You're the worst. 
You're also unemployed after quitting your job. How are you managing your finances for your affairs? And that luxury watch, how did you afford it? That was a fake I bought for about 3,000 yen at a street stall, you idiot. Enough. You, you cheated blatantly even while you were married to Lisa. Pretending to be close and doing such things behind the back is the worst kind of behavior. Huh? If Lisa didn't notice the cheating, it's her fault, isn't it? Sidonia, you also didn't notice Carlton was cheating, right? If that's the case, you also have no right to blame Carlton, right? It's different for me. It's natural to believe him when he says he can't meet during the day because of work. Anyone would suspect something after a whole cycle of excuses. If he's saying the most in the world, it means there's also a second and a third, you know? I didn't notice, so it can't be helped. But it's Lisa's fault for being Lisa. If you were getting along so well with your junior, you should have suspected cheating a bit. Well, there were times I thought something was fishy, but I wondered if it was just me thinking too much. Above all, I trusted Carlton and didn't want to doubt him. Using Lisa's kindness like that, I will never forgive you. Noah was very angry on my behalf that Sidonia and Carlton had betrayed my feelings. I felt somewhat comforted by his support. However, Sidonia and Carlton showed no signs of remorse even in this situation. Ah, uh, what's done is done with the cheating, right? Right. I don't know how many other women there are, but in the end, I'm the main one, right? If he comes back to me in the end, I guess that's okay? A woman like Lisa is just peaceful and not stimulating at all. Ha. Huh. So, Carlton, you were providing me with a stimulating life? Who knows? That's up to what Lisa thought, isn't it? Stop saying things that just suit you. You both are ridiculously getting angry for no reason. Stop your pathetic excuses. I'm not making any pathetic excuses. Sidonia has given her permission for cheating, so we might become an ideal couple. Yay! In the end, I'm the winner here. That's why I said Carlton is unemployed. Marrying an unemployed man who gambles and has five other women and thinking you're winning. Once we have a child, I'm sure Carlton will change, it'll be fine. Exactly. I'll become a great dad. Let me tell you something. I handle a lot of divorce cases, and husbands like you always say, I thought getting married would change him. It almost never does, whether you get married or have kids. But surely he'll change for his child, right? People don't change that easily, especially if they're jerks. You mean? Exactly. Carlton is genuinely a thoroughbred jerk. Hearing these words, Sidonia looked shocked. However, it was already too late to change anything. Well, you two can live however you like, but you'll be paying a decent amount in alimony. Alimony? Why? Weren't you divorced before I told you about my pregnancy? He was cheating before the divorce. That's what the alimony is for. You're not going to ask me for alimony, are you? What are you talking about? You cheated with my junior and had other women. You did whatever you wanted behind the scenes, so of course you're going to be billed for it. Then, Lisa, I will cut off all ties with every other woman so we can remarry and be a couple again. Stop talking nonsense. Reflect and admit your sins. Eek. I can't deal with this alimony. Oh, wait, I'm going to have a baby. That's already been proven to be a lie, you know? Really? Don't underestimate professional detectives and liars. I don't let people like you off easily. Wait, please. I don't have any money right now. Stop gambling and start working seriously. Don't use no income as an excuse. But if there are other women he cheated with... You're just one of them, so you'll be paying alimony too. There's no escape now. How am I supposed to live from now on? Work hard and pay the alimony monthly. You need to get your life back on track after all your fun. Lisa, I'm so sorry. I apologize for having an affair with Carlton behind your back. You can apologize, but that won't change the situation. You don't plan to forgive me. I'm truly sorry, please forgive me. If you're truly sorry, then make amends by paying alimony monthly. I'll quit all my frivolous relationships too, please, Lisa. Next, find a job and start working. Reflect deeply on your actions. Sidonia and Carlton continued to create a scene, but I ended up kicking them out. Sidonia's pregnancy claim was a lie concocted to get Carlton's attention. Carlton had been involved with several married women, and when their husbands found out, he was forced into signing alimony agreements due to their imposing stature. As a result, 
he ended up owing alimony to these men as well. Having quit her job in anticipation of marriage, Sidonia was also unemployed, and without considering the consequences, both of them started accumulating debt. To manage their multiple alimony payments, they both ended up working tirelessly every single day. Amidst this, Sidonia and Carlton lost all freedom and leisure, leading a miserable life just to pay off their dues. Meanwhile, I have been moving on with my life. Tada! I've been promoted to the head of the sales department. Well, that's amazing. You've really made it big. Yes. I was given big projects and I managed to deliver results. All the hard work paid off. They say hard work pays off, and it really does. All right. Tonight, dinner is on me. Let's celebrate. Let's go have some barbecue at Snake Garden. Really? I've always wanted to try that place. Prepare yourself, because I'm not letting you go home tonight. Of course. Wait, what? Not letting me go home. After the conversation had settled down, I was promoted to the position of head of the sales department where I worked. As we were heading out to celebrate my promotion, Noah seemed to say something cryptic, but I might have misheard him, so I decided to simply enjoy some fancy barbecue for now. Having returned to living alone post-divorce, I was now comfortably settled in my new home and my career was going well. On a personal level, having friends like Noah whom I can truly relax and laugh with makes me feel incredibly fortunate. I am immensely grateful for these days that allow me to feel such happiness. Moving forward, I plan to live each day with a smile, making the most of life in my own way. If you enjoyed this video, we'd be thrilled if you subscribed to our channel. Subscribing means you'll receive notifications for new videos, keeping you in the loop with all our latest content. Your support is vital to our growth. Let's enjoy and grow together.